<clears throat> Hello. I realized the other day that I have not done a spoken Victory Rolls tutorial, and I'm not sure why that is. I think that maybe I just assumed that showing you is easier than telling you because it is kind of a difficult process to talk you through. I've used Victor Victory Rolls in a variety of tutorials, but I have never used them on shorter hair, so I thought that this would be a good opportunity to not only do a spoken Victory Roll tutorial, but also to show you how to do them on the shorter hair. And my rollers are all askew <laughs> because when your hair is shorter and you try to roll them on hot sticks, the hot sticks tend to do odd things. But anyway, so this is a hot stick set. I haven't rolled them in any particular fashion. As you can tell, they're just kind of haphazardly rolled, but they are nice and cool. And we're going to go ahead and remove the hot sticks. I used the orange rollers, which are the larger ones, on the bottom. And I used the pink ones on the top layers of my hair because my hair is cut in a bob right now. It's not cut in a traditional 1940s um, layered haircut. So therefore, I need to be very cautious of how my curls fall. Since my hair is all basically one length, except for some layering along the bottom, I need to make sure that the top layers fall in a slightly shorter formation than the bottom layers. Now, um, as far as which direction to roll, I roll under um, most of the time. I don't usually roll up unless there's something very specific I'm trying to accomplish. So. In this particular case, I rolled down. The reason I don't feel like it's necessary in a victory roll situation to roll upward, unless you're maybe doing a pin curl that's specifically designed for that, um, is you can kind of form a curl to do anything you want it to. Once you get it, once you get some bend to your hair, you can kind of use a brush to flip it up or down. So you can see these curls took pretty tightly. And the secret is really in um, how long you let it rest after you've rolled it. I rolled for about, I rolled it and let it rest for at least 15 minutes. So they're nice and cold. I would say 30 minutes is even better. And also the product that you use to prep your hair. Now products are pretty important when it comes to a victory roll hairstyle. So what, um, it's really going to be dependent on your own hair type. I'm not going to tell you that one specific type of product is better than another type because everyone's hair is different. But in my case, I have fine, straight hair. So what I used to prep my hair before I rolled it was instead of using my traditional Tresemme heat tamer spray that I love to use on my hot sets, I sprayed my damp hair with uh, Aussie Hair Insurance, which is a leave-in conditioner, before I blow dried my hair. And then after I blow dried it, I sprayed each individual section with Hollywood's grooming spray before, there will be a link below to purchase this, but um, I sprayed each individual section with Hollywood's grooming spray before I rolled it. This is especially important for victory rolls on this length of hair and straighter hair because unlike the Trace May Heat Tamer spray, it, it lends a little bit more hold to the hair as a part as opposed to just longevity and protection it actually lends a little bit of hold um, I love the stuff it protects from the heat but it also provides hold okay so I'm pulling out my hot sticks I think I've got them all and then the bottom sections that were too short to curl with hot sticks I just kind of rolled under with a curling iron okay so this is what I have right now and we're gonna brush through these curls so with, uh, this is very similar to what my hair would look like with a sponge roller set. You can actually use sponge rollers if you want to instead of hot sticks. I just used hot sticks today because I felt like it. So my hair basically looks the same initially from almost any set. It's just like an angly bob. Okay. The secret to hot to victory rolls on shorter hair is especially if your hair is fine, you don't want to put so much volume in the rolls that the bottom of your hair looks skimpy because unless you really, I mean, we can do an updo with this hair. It's kind of hard to explain, so I'm going to do that on another video. But unless you can put the bottom sections up, you're not going to get, um, you're going to, it's going to look skimpy on the bottom because you're, especially if you don't have very much hair that's, that's left down. Uh, with longer haired girls or with, uh, you know, maybe shoulder length hair, you could do a little bit more exciting things with the bottom and you can do a lot of volume on the top and it won't look out of order. If you put a whole lot of volume on the top of your head and then you leave these little pieces down, it's going to look a little bit mousy. I don't have a particular idea on this. I'm just going to 
to do this on the fly. Any hairspray on them because I've already got that grooming spray in there and it's giving them plenty of longevity right now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a rat tail comb. And I'm going to split off a front section here. I'm not going to make it too specific. And like I said, this is on the fly. I, just, I don't have any specific plan for this. Okay. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm either going to roll it under and create a pin curl in this direction, or I'm going to roll it up. And it looks like my hair is more conducive today with this particular roller set to do it up. So I'm going to spray my hair on the bottom, spray it on the ends, and then I'm just going to slowly start to re-roll this section in like I'm using a roller. Okay? And that looks a little bit awkward. So you want to make sure you pay close attention to placement so that it doesn't look like horns so you don't end up with a flock of seagull hair. Very important. What do you need, Betty? The bobby pin that you use for this particular style is up to you. I have these that are, I use the ones from Sally Beauty because I love them. I think they're fabulous. Um, but I have these ones from Sally Beauty that are, they hold really well and they're kind of made for brown or light brown or blonde hair, dark blonde hair. Um, but I find that for victory rolls, especially if I'm rolling smaller sections, these small black bobby pins work the best if you want to do. And I'm also going to take a little of my Laylite, which is a water-soluble pomade, and I'm going to put it on my fingers to kind of help keep these hairs together as I'm rolling in. I don't want to use too much because it is a bit of a heavier pomade, so it can kind of relax your curl a bit. But as long as you have a good idea of what you're trying to accomplish, you're good. Okay, so what I'm going to do is kind of pull it back like a pompadour and kind of like a victory roll, so it's kind of in between one or the other. And then I'm going to pin inside. And that one pin should be enough for you to get a general idea of how it's going to fall. And then you can kind of reshape it and reform it by adding more pins. I'm using a pin right on the inside so that it doesn't show from the outside, keeping it away from the outside hairs. Okay, so now we have a little roll there. Okay, and that's kind of a general idea. All right, now this is a little awkward because we've got height here and straight here, so we need to add more height. But we don't want to add so much height that this down here is left skimpy. So we're not going to take the full side section. If you've got long hair, if you've got longer hair, feel free to take the full side section up. However, because my hair is shorter, I'm only going to take half. I'm going to leave the bottom down. Take all of it, I'm just going to take this much. And instead of rolling upward like this so that we still have that awkward triangular shape, I'm going to roll so that the volume is on the outside, coming away from my head. And so I'm going to roll this section back like this. See? Pin inside the roll first. That should give you enough hold to format it. Okay. See? Make sure that it looks nice and neat in the back. And on this side, I don't necessarily want it to be symmetrical. I don't care if it's symmetrical. I'm going to take this side because it's the light side of the part. I'm going to take this side, section off a large chunk over the ear, make sure that you have basically the same amount as you did on the other side. But I'm going to do just a sideways pin curl on this side. Spray. A little more pomade on the fingers to tame flyaways. And then I'm going to just create a sideways pin curl. Now this isn't really a true victory roll. Place inside the roll. Continue to twist it and tighten it. Tightening, the, tightening it is very important because if you don't tighten it, you're going to end up with a sag. So make sure you tighten it to your liking.
um, place pins in this back section the way that you would do it to kind of keep this part from sagging. You would spray it really good. You're pinning it against your head, but the bobby pins aren't going to show because you're going to slip it through that hair. Relatively easy to hide the bobby pin that way. But you still get some security. You just kind of pull this hair over that. There. Oh, here, Ruby. She's getting fussy. She's in her little um, playpen jumper type thing. Her activity center. She was happy. Now she's sad. So I'm going to let y'all... I'm going to go and comfort my daughter. And then I'll come back and talk about accessorizing. Bye. So, um... Accessorizing a style like this is really simple because you don't want to overpower your, you know, more elaborate hairstyle by adding too much um, visual stimulation. You don't want to kind of overdo it. So what I would do in a case like this, now this part of my hair fell a little bit flat. I didn't, um, like, it didn't curl as well as the rest of my hair. So on this side, it's kind of falling the way I want it to. And on this side, it's just a little bit flat. So I would use flowers to camouflage something like that. Now, in a situation like this, you want to use a simple, somewhat soft-bodied flower so that it lays nice and flat against the head. And so I'm just going to place my flower right here. And now I've got a 1940s victory roll hairstyle for short bobbed hair. Um, it's got kind of a I think it has kind of a similar feel to some of the styles that Ingrid Bergman wore in the mid-40s. So we want to make sure, like I said, that we keep it simple, that you place the rolls in, a, in such a way that they don't look awkward on the head, and that you keep volume where um, it balances out the volume at the bottom of your head. And that's it. Have a good day. We'll take pictures. Bye!